Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will walk through the steps to install and configure Windows Server 2025 core in a Hyper-V virtual machine. The server core option is a streamlined installation available when deploying the standard or data center editions of Windows Server 2025. It provides a minimal installation with no GUI, focusing on core server functionalities, reducing resource usage and enhancing security. You can install Windows Server 2025 core on a physical server or deploy it on a virtual machine depending on your needs and infrastructure setup. Before you install Windows Server 2025 core, you will need to download the installation media for Server 2025 core from the official Microsoft website or your organization's volume licensing portal. Make sure to choose the correct version and architecture based on your requirements. If you prefer not to use a physical server, you can install Windows Server 2025 core using either Hyper-V or VMware Workstation. In this example, we will install server core on a Hyper-V virtual machine. In the first step, we will create a new virtual machine to install server core. First, let's open Hyper-V Manager. To begin creating virtual machine, right click on your Hyper-V host and select new and then click virtual machine. On before you begin screen, click next to continue. Give the new Hyper-V virtual machine a name. In this example, I have given name WS2K25-Core01. Select the store the VM in different location checkbox. Click on browse to choose the desired location. Click on this PC and navigate to the D drive. Select the Hyper-V VMs folder and then click on select folder. After specifying name and location, click next. In the generation section, you can select the VM generation. In this example, I'm going to select Gen 2 virtual machine. Click next to proceed to the next screen. Assign the desired amount of memory to the server core VM. We will proceed with the default RAM of 4 GB. In order for a particular VM to have connectivity to the network, you must attach a virtual switch that is connected. Click the drop down menu and select the network connection you want to use. Select external vSwitch from the list. Click next to continue. Make sure the create a virtual hard disk option is selected. You can adjust the virtual disk location and size according to your requirements. Click next to continue. Select the install and operating system from a bootable CD DVD ROM option. Select the image file option, then click on browse to look at the ISO image file. Select the Windows Server 2025 ISO image and click on open. Click next to continue. Review the virtual machine's settings in the summary, then click finish. At this point, the virtual machine has been created and should now appear in the Hyper-V manager. In the next step, we will install Windows Server 2025 core on this virtual machine. Right click on the VM and select connect. Click on the start button to power on the VM. You will be prompted to press any key when requested which will initiate the installation of the OS. Select the language settings and click next. Select the desired keyboard settings and click on next. Next, you will be presented with two options. Install Windows Server 2025 and repair Windows. Select Install Windows Server, check the box to confirm agreement to delete all files and then click the next button. We will be prompted to choose the version of Windows we want to install. Since we want to install Server Core, select the version labeled without desktop experience. We can choose between Standard Evaluation or Data Center Evaluation. We are going with Standard Evaluation. Click Next. Next, accept the license terms. We will now be prompted to select a disk partition for installing Windows. Click on Create Partition. Click on Apply to create a partition on the selected disk. The partition has been created. Select the partition where you want to install the OS and click Next. Click Install to begin the Windows Server 2025 core installation. The installation process will begin and may take some time to complete. The Windows Server 2025 core installation should be quick. 
with the entire process taking no more than 5 to 7 minutes. Once the installation is complete, your server will automatically reboot and boot into Windows Server 2025 Core OS and you will be asked with a set a new password for administrator. We'll be prompted to change the administrator password. Select OK and press Enter. Enter the new administrator password and confirm it. Once the password is set, you'll receive a confirmation message. Your password has been changed. Press Enter to log into the newly installed Windows Server 2025 core. Press Enter to send only required diagnostic data to Microsoft. Now the S-Config utility will load. It is a lightweight tool with 15 menu options that allow you to apply basic configurations to your Windows Server Core installation. For example, let's set up a static IP address on this server core. By default, the server core will attempt to obtain a network address from a DHCP server. From the main menu, type 8 and press Enter to enter the network settings page. In this list of available interfaces, Type the number of the interface such as 0 and press enter to select that interface. Type 1 and press enter to set the network adapter address. Type S and press enter to configure a static IP address. Provide the IP version 4 address such as 172.18.72.21 and press enter. Press enter to use the default subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Type the default gateway's IP address and press enter. Press enter to return to the main menu. Again type 8 and press enter to enter network settings page. Type 0 and press enter to select that interface. Type 2 and press enter to set the DNS server's address. Provide the IP version 4 address of a preferred DNS server and press enter. Press enter twice to continue. Using the same method, you can also configure other settings. Remote management is enabled, which is helpful if you want to manage this server remotely using PowerShell, Windows Admin Center or other server management tools. That's all for this video on how to install and configure Windows Server 2025 Core in a Hyper-V virtual machine. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.